everyone. Okay, so I'm quickly sharing with you all the handouts relevant for your assignment, and I'll share with you the sample assignment. Couple of sample assignment is available on our Moodle page. Please, you can follow Moodle as well. I quickly show you, and I'll share with you a few books. So first of all, I'm to share with you Kaplan booklet, and we are following English legal system, of course. Okay, so yes, please here booklet also help you to prepare. The contract law elements and I'll share with you the other book. Quite good couple of stuff we can pick. Uh, yes, please, you can download these. Yes, yeah, will help you prepare your assignment. Okay, uh, other than um. Contract law book. Okay, please download from our chat. Sorry. Sharing with you. Okay. Two more books, and then we will start. We can drop that from the source. So, contract law, assignment discussion, books, brief, um, samples, please, so task one, task two. Okay, welcome. Thanks for joining. So let's we'll start then now. Okay, so we already had four lessons. Each lesson, we learn about one learning outcome. And I'm sharing with you the guide and the lesson. Task one, task two, separate, and the final table. Okay, thanks for joining. Let's go through assignment brief. Welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let's we'll start our lesson. Thanks for joining. And today's lesson will go through assignment. And this lesson is about assignment discussion. Actually, my question drop me at university.co.uk and I'll find my best to get back to you. And we are. 
ফ্যাসল ইউ ক্যান মিউট ইয়োরসেলফ প্লিজ বাটন একটা মারে মুঠে ভালো হইছে ওকে so what we'll do you know so we'll go through assignment so always any assignment we've been given little scenario always good to be read like you're working in accountancy firm as a junior assistant in the department dealing with the small and medium sized businesses as a part of your training you have been asked you know to do an initial in uh, review of following cases for the partners and picking out the issues and discussing you know possible solutions with after of you know answering the question we did as a client we have you know jordi here and started a new training business and want to advise you on the number of issues so trying to decide whether to become a limited company but does not know what this would involve so we can look around the company what is meant by company company is a separate legal entity company registered in the company house companies make their company account company has you know limited liability company has the artificial person is a separate legal entity the company have the article company has the memorandum which stands for you know and company act 2006 you know which we had a discussion you must imply the requirement of the company law for formation financing and administration of the company company must have a directors company officer should be located you know in the uk uh, and in realize the role and responsibility of the director of officers and the shareholders which we can discuss you know and uh, of course you know conflict of interest working in the best interest of the shareholders and all you know so we can and this is based on our lo2 so what is a lo2 learning outcome to so it mean the task one is regarding lo2 so it mean you can open the slide lecture slide of uh, lo2 which is mean lesson 2 lecture slide and that will those you know help you to prepare your this part you know of assignment company act company law 2006 role and responsibility of directors and as you know all discussion is relevant uh, which will go through in a minute and i'll give you the sample form and the comment that so we ask you is whether john who is not a part of you know the business but helping out and approach you know the small businesses in the town where they live and you can look around the scenario you've been given little yes so what we need to be do and our discussion we can relate like in this case john in this case jody and basically the question is all about you know so that is based on hello 1 1.1 1. 1.2 1m uh, and 1d is yeah element of content we can discuss about agents and agents and assess you know validity of contract we discuss about five elements and evaluate implication of agency relationship and principal and agent so that you know if we discuss under and please for this less uh, this you know talk to then look around the lesson one maybe you can say come on you know it's not in sequence because you know uh, any task can be different you know the way can be assignment can set so task one part a is all about you know we can look around uh, lo1 which is uh, is b part of task one and lo2 is the is a, is the task one so that's what we need to be look around so that's very crucial we and we'll go through accordingly so please you can follow these slides yes make sure the reference of course we can reference the book journal article and hope you're aware of how to reference if not i'll go through in a minute then we have a c part of the task one if you look underneath you can you been given a little scenario and then is a required data protection so we can look around and we can go through the gdpr general data protection intellectual property right we had a discussion about ip intellectual property right and assess the important of intellectual property right so a uh, lot of discussion are the information if you want to be up to date you know some law legislation gov.uk is quite useful website as well so we shall go through in a minute and then please if you want to work towards the merit criteria explain the law tort law and remedies remedies mean you know what are the damages can be 
and we can look around because what sort of damages and you can include example to address you know so this is lo4 lo4 is mean learning outcome 4 and which is mean lesson 4 so if you open the lesson 4 lecture slide we can follow and then we have a task 2 uh could you please make sure we the slide all this side loan is a about solo and sub solo so legal relationship between uh, legal principal legislative that so we can discuss about you know the law is of course is uh, we need a bundle of evidence approve and you know if we don't follow the laws that can be charged as a criminal activity so uh, explain the element and the consequences of malpractices fraud and bribery so we can look around bribery act we can look around money laundering we can look around you know any malpractices so these are you know which is mean lo2 2.3 uh, lo3 3.1 3.2 3.4 so it means less than 2 lo3 uh, lo2.3 under lo2 yes assessment criteria 2.3 so cyber crime uh, misuse of of course we need to be uh, look around the internet when you do your assignment so you follow the guidance as you've been given in in the assignment brief always good to be look around okay so uh you will see when you, you go through please you follow these uh, required guidance according to as a law the clean indicate you know and if you look the indicative contents of the of the unit of the unit specification, that's also quite good to follow as well. So we'll, uh, I'll craft that in a minute. Eh? Anybody any question until now? So you can ask, you know. So please, when we'll do assignment, this is assignment guidance, PowerPoint slide, of course, font size, reference, line space. So normally it's no problem because the given guidance is tolerance limit, so which is a fluky file. So please you can follow the uh, And then you've been given like explain, define, describe, you know, what is the These are the command words. Right? So we can focus on written like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, like LO1. If the word explain, it means that give the cause, cause and effect, like the reason for you. So explain, not just mention, but explain. Okay, come to the end So these are the command word, and the command word is given. Always open that like the word. That's quite crucial. We've been given scenario here that we pick it up from our guidance. So, if you can copy the guidance, you can see. Okay, so 2.1, 2.2, we can look around. Then 2.1, we have a company act, so we can follow. We've been given lot of case laws available as well on Moodle. I quickly refer you Moodle as well and show you all. You can pick, you know, these examples and make sure reference them. And uh, of course, here we've been given the company. Yes, block as a director, shareholder, responsibilities as a di director, uh, working in the best interest of the shareholders. For the distension cr criteria, we can talk about the capital of the limited company share capital. We can uh, refer back to the Company Act uh, 2006, you know, the section uh, liabilities. We can look around the capital in excess of the company need, you know, that we can look around the cancel share capital. Share capital means the registered capital in the company's house. That, you know, then is the scenario B, which we have the link with 1.1 1.2 as i mentioned earlier so please you can follow and then of course you know we can uh, you've been given the cross reference of the slide numbers as well and so please we can follow those slides and that help you know to prepare the assignment so distension criteria uh, we can look around d 
and of course you've been given such that refer to the hello slide number 32 32 even is being cross reference and we've been given that jody is the principal who is the gen yes so they they have between them is agency relationship and some case laws you know which we can refer so hello four 4.1, 4.2, and you've been given the links here, please, quite good too, and you can read and write as well. So that's I shared with you, please, when you prepare your assignment, it's quite good to follow. Huh? So copyrights, trademarks, patents, trade secrets, yes, if you want, you know, cost-based evaluation, market-based evaluation, income-based evaluation, we had a discussion about intellectual property rights, we had a discussion uh, that's we've been given under 1.3 and 4.3. And then we have a D part, you know, where we can look around. Your D implies, you know, cause a fire at training event. So we can look around electrical health and safety laws. So we've been given the laws of tort and remedies. If what remedies can be. Of course, it's a legislation. We don't feel well. Of course, it leads to the imprisonment. But let's talk what sort of you know remedies can be so we can look around the slide 23 to 27 of lo1 yes so lo1 mean lesson one uh then you can refer for this slide 26 to 41 and that's you know which we've been given lo1 we can refer back and we can look around lo4 as well that's the relevant so we can refer back to so that's as given in the assignment, but you've been referred here in the guidance, which slide number is useful to read and write. Huh? So that's quite good too. Okay. Other than these, when you do the elements of the contract law uh, insolvencies and all, we had a discussion and that's, you know, part of you've been given. Uh, LO2. And the slide, which is mean less than two slides, 33 to 34, we can follow. And I'll quite, uh, you know, so cross after these slides for you as well. Huh? So in a minute, I'll go through. And other than that, please, I prepare the little template for you. It's called assignment guidance template. So we can uh, share with you as well this one. Okay, so please, always good to me, you have a cover page. Assignment law for accounting, of course, student numbers submitted by uh, UK University, Manchester School of Accounting and Finance. And then, of course, you know, we can look around the top one and I divided, I put in a heading for you, top two, yes, all the top one, A, B, C, and D part, and top two. You've been all the key points in solvency, the relationship between uh, uh, legal principle, legislation, case laws, and ethical code for the practices, bribery act, fraud, fraud leads to the criminal, yeah. uh, computer misuse. We have a computer act as well. So that's, you know, we have all the key elements there. And that's, and then please, you will see here, we divide it, client, we divide it the discussion how you can and underneath you will see uh, is all you know what we're supposed to do so that's we've been given then is a contract law i uh, refer back to here kaplan reference there that's you know which we can use offer and acceptance we said element of contract uh yes agency theory we can refer back to and i divided here discussion and allows as well how we can structure intellectual property right yes so we mentioned different sources here good website is good to use intellectual property rights uh, data protection yes the requirement of data element of data protection seven principal with four used to be eight principal law of employment compensation termination contract uh, explain law tort laws and all recommended website, yes. So all the handouts is available, which I shared with you, as also available our Moodle page in a minute. I'll cross reference, and all being divided. Huh? So you will see the source there, reference there, and please make sure you do the little bit conclusion, write down, and add you know the references. Huh? 
and add the appendixes if you want to be. If you have a lot of stuff you want to cross refer, cross reference, you can as well. Huh? So please make sure you prepare the table of contents like this. If you want to add more headings, of course you can as well. But these are the major headings which you can include in your assignment. Okay, let's I'll take you back to our Moodle page and we look, you know, what sort of the things available on our Moodle page, those we can use for our assignment. Huh? So I'll please uh, hope you know you all have access. If not, please ask, you know, we can start out. Huh? So let's, you know, I'll uh, quickly show you now. And I'll share with you the sample assignment. Okay. So, okay, see if we look here, we've been given the unit specification, assignment brief, and the sample assignments. Huh? So, if we look at the sample assignment, uh, yes. So, what we can do in task one, what we can do in task two, yes, we have what is meant by limited company here. Yes. That is the bullet points in this formation of the company, role of directors, role of shareholders, administration. Okay. So, thus we have offer, accept, and contract. Invitation to treat, principal of agent, agency theory. So we have Kaplan website. If you say agency theory, we can find as well. And a lot of stuff on intellectual property rights, GDPR, general data protection regulation. Even we can find all the key principle of general data protection. Uh, yes, please. Tort law, uh, negligence type of negligence, type of remedies can be, yes. Uh, yes, implied duties, implied duties, like, you know, in the contract of employment, health and safety, various examples you can include. Uh, Equality Act, we have 2010, which is we enlarge everyone equal. We can't discriminate people on the basis of race, religion, direct, indirect discrimination, victimization, Harassment, insolvency, laws, yes, uh, is which we have we learn about in uh, during our lessons, yes. Bribery act, you know, uh, money laundering, fourteen year imprisonment, uh, our AML, you know, which we can annual money laundering, uh, monitoring all, you know, which is compulsory under if you want to register with the HMRC as a agent as well, or you can use their services. Uh, how you can use, you know, awarding body services like IFA. So these, you know, all, please, here is a problem. You will see there because, you know, this website is being not uh, always good to be, yes, is here is the access date, should be cross-referenced within the text as well. And some of website, you will see there is a no access date. So as a good Harvard reference, we should have access date. Okay, so if you, a uh, couple of you already done a couple of assignments, so please, there's a one good website, it's called Neil Toolbox. Can you see all, please? Yes, hope so you can see this. Okay, so please, this is called Harvard Reference Generator. That's quite good too. If you want to use it, please, quite good. Uh, if you're using book, journal, article, you can fill. Yes, I'm using book, law for, law for accounting, let's say. And let's say, article. Well, I'm just assuming I'm not really looking. Okay, so published by, let's say, Kaplan. Is this in London? And year of publication, let's say, you are assuming this. I'm just, you know, showing you. And if you read page 10 to, let's say, 20, you have read them and you are using for 
that's your the reference it generated and you can copy this reference under the reference page and wherever the text is relevant to within your assignment that's you know you can cross reference huh? this is also acceptable harvard reference start anybody any question here yes no we are okay can you hear me please okay next now. Oh, good. thank you okay so law uh, we can look around the contract law and next to that if you write the word kaplan kaplan is a publisher and publish many books and you can find the knowledge bank of kaplan you will see there what is meant by a contract yes there are a couple of examples you can include like if you want to case loss, right click it and you can take this image and you can copy into and you can say as in the above case law as example between Victoria hotels and versus this yeah so you can refer back to some some laws huh? so please that's quite good too uh, you can use these huh? okay so there is other website if you want to you will see here q and a's and a number of stuff you know on the content of the contract uh, contract of employment you have a section employment contract what's good uh, you can implied term and express term we had a discussion so please that's also useful to you okay uh, other than that if you want to let's say so you want to use the website is called tutor to you and next to that if you want to look around and like you know uh, contract law write down here yeah. contract yes yeah. so you will find there a uh, contract so number of stuff you know a number of things you can find which will be normally used in a level stuff as well which is relevant to which we can contract bilateral unilateral contract and some of stuff you know you can cross reference and if you want to go gov.uk and if you want to look around contract law or uh, any other legislation you want to look around yes employment contract how to write the contract section or you want company act company act 2006 yes yeah, so you can find there Yes, company act 2006. Yes, so that's you know quite good too. Offensive connected with draft legislation. Yes, are generic if you want. Google if I can. Company act 2006. It's quite good for. Okay, so we can look around corporations, company act 2006, you will see here, Kaplan resource bank is quite useful to use for this because it's a uh, deal with a lot of, you know, the financial stuff. Uh, okay, so you will see the company limited liability company enter into the contract its own name. You will see the sections, you will see the cases, uh, lifting the pay what is meant by the section, the case laws, you can snip it, you can add examples. Yes, all you know, the, the members in, yes, limited, unlimited, the requirements. So that's all relevant stuff, you know, which you can include. Okay, so please, anything you like to search, like a director responsibility we have, you know, in our, assignment which we can the company term directors include any person occupying the position of the director by the name yes and this is given by and under the company act and all you have the lot of case conflict and always good to be included so please that you can include your assignment and it's quite good to look these okay so I shared with you task one, separate stuff. So task one, yes, article of association elements of, so that's right. 
uh, other than that i'm going to share with you one more sample assignment uh, which you can use so make sure you download these and you can use them for just for your sake of you know getting ideas from it. not copy as it is free because otherwise the similarity will be higher okay so you will see there one last i'll show you now So please, you can use this. Yes, you will see there is a task one, one point, task one A, B, C, D, and then task two we have. And you will see there we have an introduction, minimize the personal liabilities through registering professional status of duty in that case cross separate legal entity as a company, credibility and trust, uh, disadvantages, advantages as a limited company. So you will see the pros and cons, the sole traders, structures which we can link to instead of company and limited company of sole traders. So you can discuss about which one is, which, what are the advantages as a sole traders and company can be you will see there's the reference there all uh, then the contract of course you know i mentioned you kept on even you can include is you know the cross like showing the elements of uh, principle of you know agent agency theory copyright patents yes so all be so please and then of course you know after that look around of your talk to insolvency, bribery act, and all, you know, this few example there. So that's also help you. Uh, all for me and anybody, any question, please. So you have books, you have a website, you have previous assignment, and uh, I think so I can last thing refer you before we finish. Uh, take you back to the Moodle and if you want to refer some case laws, those are given here, our Moodle page as well. Other than that, you can, of course, you know, you can look around on Kaplan and various uh, sources, yes, and I shared with you the books as well. So please, you've been given the books here, insolvency case laws, you will see corporate governance, ethics, CSR, yes, so we have a discussion on ethics, Yes, so you will see here grievances procedures. You will see the merit criteria 1M. You can include it. So you've been given here different case laws. Uh, you will see here you've been given employment guide, copy rights, and you will see here employment protection legislation, UK bribery at computer misuse, negligence. Yes. You have a case law there and all recorded the you know, uh, lesson which we have already done these previously as well. And you will see there is PowerPoint slides that we see there. So it's quite good when you prepare these, please you can write and you can go through. Uh, make sure write in your words, uh, make sure reference table of contents. That's, you know, and if you want to send me, you can. And I'll carry on giving you feedback, and then we uh, and please uh, try if you can within two weeks after today lesson if you can, so we can sign off, and then of course you know uh, we'll carry on signing off. Huh? So out of the way one more. Huh? So that's all from my end. Anybody any question? Hope you know we'll speak to you in our next unit, and in between. If you have any question, drop me me email, drop us the email. And if you need extra resource or you think it come on and you, I'm I'm struggling, I don't have you know enough resource, I can't find it. You let me know. I can send you more books on these. Huh?
I can send you separately handouts of each top data if you need it. You know, let me know. Okay, uh, you can embed your own experience as well. Anything related to and make sure the concept where it came from, even the book, journal, article, or wherever you learn about, you can cross reference, which is reference is crucial. So that's all from my end. Hope you know we'll speak to you next week. Then uh, when we'll start a new unit. And in between, if you have any question, drop us email. So please, you know, you can send me before, you know, final submission and learner work uh, at ukversity.co.uk or, okay, and you can copy me in as well. I'll carry on giving you feed, feedback before, you know, final submission if you want. Have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you, hope, you know, during our next delivery of the unit. Eh? Thank you very much. That was very useful. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.